we've been gardening. Uh, went most of the winter without any problems, and then uh, seems like all of a sudden uh, we've got a infestation here, a white fly, and I'm seeing with a lot of sticky residue on the leaves, so maybe scale uh, has returned with the increase of warmer temperatures here in the greenhouse. I think the cold temperatures sort of kept a little bit of a, a damper on, on this, but yeah, I get, I'm pretty sure, isn't that what they call white fly? So I'm, I'm going to take these, but look at, look at the flowers on this uh, Shinoto orange here. Look at all these. It's about to open up, it's just a mass of flowers here. There's no way all these could set fruit. Pretty impressive though. So I think I'm going to take these outside real quick and spray them down with the hose. I don't know if that's a good idea or not because the hose, uh, the water is pretty, still pretty cold. I don't think I'll shock these, I don't know. But everything's, everything's blooming. Everything has flowers on it. Here's a Trevita orange. really responded to the cold temperatures and the warmer temperatures during the day but uh, you know all of a sudden it seems like these uh, white fly and scale is mushroomed into a problem I don't actually see the scale here. Yeah, look at the white flies on that. So let me hose these down. I don't know, do white fly cause all this sticky residue too? I'm not seeing the scale. Hmm. I think these actually came from, the white fly came from some uh, white fly I had on the pepper plants I brought in. That's where I first seen them. So somehow they got here in the greenhouse. So let me go hose these down. So right now I'm just interested in putting a dent in these white flying. I know he takes it down here too. So I know this isn't going to solve it, but put a big dent in it. Okay. I'm just trying to knock them off. I don't, I'm not looking to uh, completely eradicate them today. Just put a big dent in them by just knocking them off with the water. You can see all the flowers on this. It's really responding to the cool temperatures at night and the warmer temperatures during the day. This, this cold water has got to be a shock to them, though. Hope it's not doing too much damage. So this is New England Gardening. Leaving you with the sounds of the robins and and the cardinals staking out their territories for this spring. Thanks for watching.